An innovative project is shining a light on the hidden history of the state of Rhode Island. Slave medallions are being placed throughout that state, marking the role each city there played in the triangular slave trade. Chelsea Jones walks us through what each bronze, bronze plaque will represent, as slavery was the economic engine of the ocean state. The journey starts right here with a QR code on each medallion. It unlocks the history of Rhode Island and its use of slave labor. This is Patriots Park in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. The names you see carved above this monument mark the spot where the United States' first integrated army fought as one. Blacks, Indians, indentured white servants and farm boys got together for the first time and held the, the British and the Hessians in the first Battle of Rhode Island. This memorial is now adorned with a QR-coded medallion tying cities in Rhode Island to its painful past. All you do is take your phone, open the camera, and hover over the code. It will then take you to the website, revealing what each city's role was in slavery. Patriots Park is the first of many. It's a hidden history. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to tell the unvarnished truth about uh, slave history. See, this view of the Narragansett Bay looked a lot different during the 17 and 1800s. Ships from Newport and other ports like Bristol and Warren and Providence were sent to West Africa where, where rum was traded for Africans who were captured and kidnapped from their tribes.